Crimson Tide are the number eight seed in the SEC tournament after three and 23 and 21 overall, 14 and 14 in the SEC. Alabama will meet ninth seeded Kentucky at 4.30 p.m. Central in the opening round of the SEC tournament on Tuesday. To ask a question of Coach Gaspar, press star one now. Coach, while we wait on questions, could you give us a few comments on this week's tournament? Well, you know, as always, we look forward to, to heading to Birmingham. Uh, I think it's always, you know, special uh, for us, you know, being just an hour up the road. And, and uh, I think it's uh, an important tournament, you know, for us and, and for all right now as there's so many teams so close, you know, this year. And, and uh, But uh, always an exciting time, a great reward, I think, for, for all the teams that uh, make it to Hoover. It's really become kind of a mini Omaha, I think, for all SEC teams, and they do such a great job of putting the event on. So uh, I think just an exciting time for all the players that are uh, head, heading to Hoover today. Our first question is from Bob Holt of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hey, Coach. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, I know it's been a while since you guys uh, played Arkansas, but I was wondering what you thought of their three starters, Big Sauer and Killing, and also the fact they're from – Small towns in Arkansas, Prairie Grove, Farmington, and, and Mountain Home. Yeah, well, you know, the the weekend, and it, it was early, but certainly, uh, you know, Killian and and Oliver were just terrific. You know, the uh, you know, the weekend we were there, and and uh, I think it's as good of uh, three starting pitchers, you know, as there is uh, in the league, and and uh, that that uh, you know that is certainly the strength. Uh, of the club and has been, you know, it's uh, just a dynamite uh, threesome there, and they're going to keep them in every game. And uh, so uh, we were certainly impressed, you know, leaving Fayetteville with, with their starting pitching. Listen, they're from towns most people in our, outside Arkansas have never heard of. Do you, do you find that kind of interesting, or what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think that's by good recruiting. You know, you, you've got to go get them where they're at. And, uh you know, I know that uh, there's, there's probably a lot of folks, you know, in our league that have, you know, kids from small towns. And, and the way it is now, you know, travel ball and such an extensive summer league types, you know, uh, programs out there that so many of these kids get on and are able to be seen, you know, now much more than what's in the past. In the past. So uh, when you got a good arm and you can pitch, they're, they're going to find you. There's no doubt about it. Thanks. You bet. Next is Kyle Tucker of the Louisville Courier Journal. Hey, Coach. I just wanted your impressions of, of UK's uh, AJ Reed, what he's done in this league this year, and to do that in this conference, where where should that put him in the the National Player of the Year race? Do you think first? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, yeah. I've been in this league now. Uh, I think you know around 15 years as an assistant and a head coach, and uh, he's had an as impressive of a year, I think, as we've seen in a very long time, that uh, on both sides, I mean, on the mound, he's a great competitor and, and uh, has just, you know, you know, fell for him on Friday night. And uh, I think on the offensive end, I mean, it just speaks for itself what he's been able to do with, uh, you know, obviously the home runs. But he's really made himself just a dynamic player. And when you can do that in this league, which – you know, is considered the number one league in in America. I think that just speaks of the talent that he has. You know, first of all, and I think he's a guy we're going to cut the TV on here soon in uh, big league games and be watching. And I think the interesting part is just going to be which direction they go with him. Uh, I think offensively, he's as good of a uh, just a you know a power type guy as there is in the country right now with his numbers, but. Uh, you know, he's, he's about equally as good on the mound. So I think that's the only question is what do you, do you go with him because uh, he's, he's been super impressive all year. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You bet. Next is D.C. Reeves of the Tuscaloosa News. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Hey, D.C. Um, wanted to, add, I guess, sort of dovetailing on that Reed question, the, the opportunity this is for Nick and, and uh, obviously a big spot elimination game against a guy like that uh, as a freshman. What, what, how big of a situation is this for him, and, and how excited do you think he is for it? Well, he's really excited. We actually visited a little bit yesterday on it, and uh, it's a tremendous opportunity, I think, for his growth and his development. Uh, you know, one, he's going to get to 
pitch in front of uh, more than likely a really good crowd uh, tomorrow. And and, uh, and he's facing, you know, he's going to get to face up against one of the, uh, the, the top guys in the country, both from a pitching standpoint and an offensive standpoint. And, and he's going against one of the top offenses in the country. And uh, so I, I think he, you know, he has to view it that way. It's a great opportunity uh, for his maturation on the mound for us. Obviously, we see him as a weekend starter, you know, moving into next year. And uh, I think this is a wonderful opportunity, you know, for, for his growth right now. And for our team, and I, and I think, you know, if we can go and have success, I think that can really propel him uh, into the regional as well to, to put himself in a really good spot from a confidence standpoint where he can really help help our ball club. All right, thanks, All right, thanks. thanks Mitch. Mm-hmm. Coach, thank you very much for your time this morning. Okay, guys, thank you.